Sorry, but let's get right down to business. And Samit Chavan, Avinash Gorak Shekhar still with us uh, on the show. Samit, I uh, wanted to just get in a sense as to uh, what are your top recommendations? See, we have three recommendations, or two would be on the buy side. Sun TV is the one stock uh, that we have been liking since last one and a half months. Uh, recently, stock corrected from high levels of 9 and 10 and retested its previous breakout points around 840. And since last two days, we have been witnessing good buying interest in this counter. Uh, so, we recommend this stock for a target of 930. It can be bought with a stop loss of uh, 845. Our second buy call would be on Indo count. Uh, this stock has been consolidating in the range of late, uh, but since last uh, couple of days, we have been witnessing good positive traction in this counter. Uh, today also, the stock has managed to recover from its low. Uh, so we believe that the stock is heading towards 135, which would be a near term target, can be bought with the stock loss of 120. And our solitary sell call would be on Volta, which is a contract sell call against its uh, near term uh, bull run. Uh, clearly, the stock has already given a massive rally. Uh, but since last couple of days, uh, we have been witnessing some uh, signs of early signs of exhaustion. Uh, yesterday, this stock managed to give a close uh, uh, below its important support level of 620. Uh, so we believe that the stock is uh, uh, likely to correct further. Target would be around 602. It can be short sold on any bonds. Uh, stop loss can be kept around 630. You are opting to you know trade in uh, mid cap stocks at this point of time. Last time we spoke uh, uh, about market, you were a bit skeptical at higher levels. We did see some correction. What's your overall uh, Nifty opinion at this point of time? And I'm asking you from positional perspective. See, to be honest, uh, we are seeing a divergence in uh, two indices. Uh, Nifty, EPC, we believe that Nifty is likely to face strong selling pressure at high levels. Uh, as far as levels are concerned, since last three days, the stock has been, con uh, uh, the index has been consolidating in a range where, you know, uh, the range would be uh, 10,368 on the highest end. We are now trading around its higher end. And lower side, 10,250 is the support level to watch out for. Uh, so we believe that at least in the near term, you would see some kind of momentum coming uh, in Nifty at least uh, on the breakout on either side. So if Nifty breaks higher end, uh, we could see a move towards 10,450. And on the flip side, 10,250 seems to be a very strong support. So as of now, we are not taking any stance uh, as far as you know, Nifty is concerned. Uh, if we look at the bank Nifty, it has been outperforming of late. 25200, uh, which was the earlier breakout point, acted as a very strong support. And from there, uh, on Friday, we saw huge cap of opening. Since last three days, Bank Nifty also uh, has been consolidating in a range. But we believe that the overall outperformance is quite strong uh, as compared to Nifty. Uh, for Bank Nifty, 26,000 would be a level to watch out for. Uh, which has become a psychological hurdle as well and in the near term for 25,600, 25,200 we are seeing as a very strong support. So, uh, uh, let's also get in Samit your view, you heard are the rationale on the fundamental side, are the charts reflecting the same momentum or optimism? See, to be honest, to uplate, this stock has been constructing a range wherein 30 acted as a very strong support and on the higher side 252, 255 uh, was a strong resistance zone. Uh, since last couple of days, uh, the stock has seen good buying interest at lower levels and today also it is trading uh, beyond its uh, intraday resistance of 250. Uh, so if we look at the daily charts, it looks encouraging at least. So in case if we get a close beyond 252 today, uh, we could see extension of this rally at least toward 260, 262. So at this point in time, he can stay invested. Uh, he can place a stock loss at 243. Of India it is. Yes, uh, PSBs have been... Um uh, touted by many experts actually that perhaps these are the companies, the deeply undervalued companies that may lead market direction, um, at least the next leg of the market direction. Uh, Samit, coming to you, um, on the technicals, what exactly does Bank of India look like at the current price point? See, recently we saw massive rally uh, most of the PSU banking uh, names. Uh, Bank of India of late consulted a bit in a range where you know 210, 212 seems to be a very strong resistance and low side 192 seems to be a very strong support. So if he has a short term view then probably I would advise him to exit on any bounce to a 210, 210. Uh, but if he has a medium term view then he can stay put uh, by keeping a strict stop loss around, uh, around 192. Uh, but within you know PSU banking basket if I have to pick any particular stock you know we have been liking PNB uh, which certainly looks 
good with a medium to long term perspective where you know 180 175 seems to be very strong support and, and and we expect this stock to head much much higher from current level our target should be around 220 220